What's happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. Today, we're coming at you with something a little bit different. Spring is in the air, and with spring comes warmer weather. Warmer weather means people are getting in the water, and that also means people are going to be looking for these kind of knives. So, I'm not going to tell you what they are, but we're going to talk about them here in just a minute. Before we get started, though, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos and tell you about really cool new knives like these right here. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. All right, folks, like I said, spring is in the air. Weather's getting warmer. People are going swimming. I just went swimming the other day and uh, really enjoyed it. I love the water. And these are going to be really popular, especially for people along the coast, especially for divers. These are dive knives. Uh, so we got five brand new dive knives in um, from the Mac company made in Italy. Mac Cotieri. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It might be uh, Cotillery, but I doubt that it's that simple. Um, these are made in Italy, and all of these are fantastic dive knives. We're going to take a look at them up close and in person right here, right now. Now, this is from their micro subline. Two of these knives are going to be from their micro subline. This is one of them right here, and these things are really cool. So, uh, like I said, we've got two of these in that micro subline, and one of them is going to be blunt tipped. One of them is going to be sharp tipped. One of them is also coated. One of them is non coated, uh, both with the same sheath. Now, one thing that it's important to note is that all of these come with the sheath, the rubberized straps. And the buckles. So these are going to strap like... So these are dive knives. These are either going to strap on your legs or on your arms. Either one. Um, but they can also st strap to various equipment with these straps as well. But typically that's what you're going to see. is You're going to see them either strapping to your legs or your arms. And this one in particular, these smaller ones here, I think... And, and Greg made this comment... I think they actually work perfect strapped to the arm right here. You can even strap them like up here if you wanted to. That way you could pull down. Um, so I, I think that's a, a fantastic option um, for a dive knife. Let's take a look at the knives themselves up close and go over the specs on these right here. So this one is the Micro Sub PT2 right here. And uh, these are coming in with that German stainless steel, 4116 stainless steel. Um, hardness is listed at a 55 to 56 Rockwell. Thickness is 3.8 millimeters or 0.149 inches, just under 0.15. This one is under two ounces, so really, really lightweight. Super lightweight on that one right there. Handle material is ABS plastic, and this one's got the coated blade. That is what they're calling... Hydroglider Gold Black. So it's a uh, it's a coating that they use, um, the Mac company uses on some of their knives. Um, now this one is coming in at 5.7 inches overall and 2.36 inches on the blade length right there. Now it does have the, it, it is double edge. So this one is a double edge. It's got a flat edge here and then a serrated on the top right there. And uh, just a really, really great, nice, unobtrusive dive knife. Uh, if you've ever spent a lot of time diving or snorkeling, anything like that, um, real estate on your body and on your uh, equipment is very precious. Um, so you only need what you absolutely have to have. Um, you don't want a whole lot of stuff weighing you down um, because that's going to be more work uh, for your buoyancy. Uh, you also are only going to have so much room uh, 
to put knives and stuff like that that aren't actual um, diving equipment. So um, something like this that's very unobtrusive. And also, this is a nice option, too, with the blunt tip. Uh, so, and uh, Greg and I were talking about this. Greg pointed out that is actually the reason for that. And you'll see this on a lot of saltwater knives, on a lot of dive-type knives. Um, that is actually so that if you're in an inflatable raft, or, or some sort of inflatable, you're not going to puncture it accidentally with the tip of that knife. Um, that's why it's blunted. That's why it's not sharpened. That Micro Sub PT right there is coming in at $21.99. Fantastic deal for that right there. Um, for an invaluable tool for any diver right there. So that's also going to be a great tool for anybody going out fishing or anything like that. It's going to be... Uh, all materials that are impervious to water, salt water, that kind of thing. Um, it's going to be great as far as stainless goes. Uh, just a phenomenal value right there. And like I said, it comes with the rubberized straps right there, two of them. So the way that that works is it mounts here at the top and at the bottom and then goes around and then those actually go through the buckles as well. So you can, uh, it, it has a quick detach method as well. We've also got the other micro sub here. We're going to take a look at that one up close as well. So this one is going to be the micro sub. And this is their original model right here. Now this one is with the cutout right there. This one's coming in with the 4116 German stainless steel as well. Same Rockwell. Coming in at 1.94 ounces. Handle material is ABS plastic right there. And uh, this is with the non-coated blade. 5.7 inches overall. Blade length of 2.36 inches. And coming in with the same specs and everything as the coated blade, except this one is all the way out to the tip. So it's not, uh, it's not blunted like the other one was. Double edge. So it's got this sharpened edge here. And it's got the serrations on the top right there. So you can use it either way. Um, whether you need to cut it, uh, like use it to cut cordage on that top with the serrations right there, um, or just use it as a general knife on the bottom right there. Um, fantastic option right there. And this one's coming in with the same sheath, same setup, all of that. And this one's coming in at $19.99. So fantastic value on those right there. Absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> now we're going to switch gears a little bit. So those are the micro subs. Those are going to be the smaller ones um, that, like I said, I think they would go great on like a forearm um, or even on a bicep carry uh, if you're looking to, you know, not take up any other real estate um, with your dive equipment. Um, that kind of stuff is very important because, you know, you look at some dive equipment, you some in some cases you're wearing like a big vest um, buckles here it's going to be a little bit more difficult i mean yeah you've got the you've got the leg real estate but it just depends on your setup and what you're looking at that might be a little bit more um, versatile of an option so uh, here we're going to change gears and go to a bigger option here now, this one right here is really, really cool. Let's take a look at this one up close because it's hard to point out, uh, except up close, all the different features of this one right here. And I want to start out with it in the sheath itself. This one is the Aquatis 3. The Aquatis 3. And this one's really cool. So we're going to take a look at this. This is a locking mechanism right here on, on, this, um, on this part. So in this position right here, it is locked and it cannot come out at all, um, which is a nice feature. I really, really dig that. Um, it's not gonna get caught on something and, and come out of the sheath accidentally. And as you know, with that kind of equipment on, you're not gonna feel as much. Um, and also underwater, you're not gonna feel, so, like if something tugs on you and then you're free, you're not necessarily gonna notice if something's you know dropped off. Um, so, I love that it's it's got a locking mechanism. All you got to do to disengage that lock is pull that down right there, and then you push in right here, and the knife comes right out. Now, this is coming in with the blade coating right there on the Aquatis 3. We're going to go over the specs on this one. So, again, this is uh, 4116 stainless steel. Um, blade thickness of 0.149 inches, so nice and slicey on that one. 
5.43 ounces. Blade coating is uh, that PTFE camo. So we've got the blue and black camo right there. Uh, handle material is uh, PP with TPE m- overmold. Um, so this is going to be a TPE material. It's uh, got a rubberized feel to it. Um, nice and secure. And you're going to find that with a lot of dive knives as well. Um, that rubberized coating. It's really going to make a difference, especially in aquatic environments where um, it, other materials might become a little more slippery. Um, 9.44 inches overall, 4.72 inches on the actual blade length. Um, and if you look right here, uh, you've got the uh, sharpened edge here. This is double edged. You've got the serrations across the top, and then you've also got the um, rope cutter right there as well or um kind of the same style as like a seat belt cutter obviously on this kind of knife not going to be used for seat belts but any other kind of uh rope or nylon webbing something like that is going to be uh easily cut by that uh that cutter right there so really cool and another really nice feature and i want to show this up close so like i said this one's got the locking mechanism this one is automatically ambidextrous so it can go in that way unlock it pull it straight out flip it over and it can go in the other way as well so it's automatically ambidextrous so you don't have to switch anything around to switch it up you can put it back in the sheath however you want to which is very important too if you're underwater um you might be in a it's a different environment so if you want to go and put it back in, it doesn't matter which way you've got your knife turned. You don't have to pay attention to which way you have your knife turned to put it back up in the sheath. It's going to fit either way. So that's a fantastic option right there. We're going to pull that one out and show that blade to you one more time. And this one's coming in at fifty one ninety nine. Um, and I mean, it's it, it's going to be really nice because not always like, especially when you're underwater like that. If you've got a mask on, it really depends on your setup. Um, you're not going to be able to see your sheath necessarily. Um, so if you've got a mask on, your visibility is going to be uh, kind of uh, hampered there. So um, it just depends on where your setup is. As long as you can feel where that sheath is, then you can put it in either way. It doesn't matter if it's flip-flopped. So up next, we've got another one here. And uh, this one's really cool. Um, this one's going to be the Squalo series, and we're going to show that one up close right there as well. I'm going to show it in the sheath, too. So this is even a little bit bigger um, than the last one, the Aquatis. This one's a little bit bigger than the Aquatis. This is the Squalo 15 MR. And this one's coming in again with the 4116 stainless steel blade thickness of just under 0.15 inches this one's coming in at 8.64 ounces so a little bit heavier on this one it's also got the lanyard loop right there nice locking mechanism on the sheath so it locks into place right there all it takes is uh actuation by your index finger and it pulls right out and uh, this one's coming in with the cutter right there serrations on the top and uh, those are not chisel ground serrations. Those are uh, dual grind serrations right there on the top. And then the recurve blade edge on the bottom right there. Um, so, and this is their Inox material, their 4116 stainless steel. Handle material is that um, uh, polypropylene. Knife length is 10.63 inches overall. Blade length is 5.51 inches right there. And again, all of these are coming in with the two rubber bands right there. I don't want to say rubber bands, but rubberized bands. And then the two buckles so that you can secure each one of these sheaths. Each one of them is going to come in with two points. One at the bottom, one at the top, for each one of those uh, bands to go through and secure this knife wherever you want it to be secured to. Um, and we've got one other one. So that's that's five total. And this last one, this one's my favorite. And this one's really cool. 
Um, the only main difference between this one and the other ones, the other ones are coming in uh, with the plastic uh, ambi sheaths there. This one is not. This one is coming in with a nylon sheath, um, but this one is really, really cool. Let's take a look at this one up close and show all the details on it. So this one is the Mac Alley Dive Knife. This is from their Alley Dive line. And uh, this one's coming in again with the 4116 stainless steel, um, 0.15 on the blade thickness right there, 8.6 ounces, full tang, fixed blade. Uh, this one's coming in with the PPE, TPE mixture handle material. And uh, I got to say, this is a great marriage of the two materials. It's hard, um, but at the same time, slightly textured and rubberized. So it's very secure feeling in the hand. Um, coming in at 10.03 inches overall, 4.72 inches on the blade length. Got the recurve on the bottom edge. Got the serrations on the top and uh, the cord cutter right there as well. And it's got the lanyard loop uh, made into the blade tang right there. Beautiful knife, fits great in the hand, like just a really, really great knife. This is going to be a great all-around knife, honestly. And uh, again, on this one, with its construction on that nylon sheath, it is naturally ambidextrous, which is a nice feature to have um, on these uh, on these sheaths. And then if you look on the back, this one's also going to come um, with the uh, rubberized bands. Um, and you've got you can actually put this one on a belt if you wanted to. Or you can use those bands and uh, and lock it in place because this is also compatible with those at the bottom as well. So um, really, really cool uh, design right there on that alley dive knife. And that's going to be the fifth one right here. That one is coming in at $65.99. So to recap, we've got the alley dive for $65.99. We've got the Squallow. That one's coming in at $41.99. Then we've got the Aquatis. That one's coming in at $51.99. And then we've also got the two Micros coming in at $19.99 for the Uncoated and Sharp Tip and $21.99 for the Coated Blade with the Blunted Tip. So fantastic deals right there. You can check those out. We'll put the link in the description below to all of these Mac knives. Um, and let us know if you have any experience with, um, with Mac's line of dive knives. Um, really look forward to hearing about all the experience out there with these knives. Um, fantastic values, especially for the use that they're going to be used for. Uh, I think that's a great deal to find um, a knife that's that affordable um, to be able to use as a quality dive knife. So check those out, folks. Let us know what you think about those in the comments down below. And remember, if it cuts like a Mac dive knife, then we carry it. <laughs> Hey, <laughs>